Hey guys, it's Kayla back again with more bad fan fiction theater, and we have a guest. Hi. That's kind of permanent, maybe. <laughs> yes, increasingly, increasingly permanent guest. W what should I call you in the title card this time? Uh, extra special guest villain. Okay, didn't I use that last time, or did I just say semi-permanent guest? I don't think you did the guest villain one. I don't think you've done that yet. I'll have to check, but uh, today. We're reading a Twilight story, because whose show likes the Twilight stories, Bleeding Love, by Edwards Goth Girl 666. <laughs> 666. So yes, it's one of those stories. Yes, one of those stories. The kind that we love. Maybe. Maybe. That one almost, like, made us all rage a lot. <laughs> Well, well, and there were there were different ones too that made us rage. I think it was the one with relay board, wasn't it? Where I'm just just got so upset and obsessed over this one aspect of the story, and I'm just like, why? No, that was Twyla, I think. <laughs> where where they were, somebody was peeing all the time or something. <laughs> because relay board ended with her hanging out with a panda bear that was gay. <laughs> And then Jacob showed up. <laughs> I don't remember, but all of these are always just such an experience. Uh, I think that's why it amuses me so much. There's No matter how shitty a Twilight fanfic is, there's always going to be something memorable that's happened during our reading of it. Uh, at least I hope so. I hope it's memorable in a good way, though, because sometimes you get memorable stuff that's like, I remember that, I wish I could get it. <laughs> Star turds, M.I.L. Well, see, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> see, fortunately, fortunately, Star turds and M.I.L. were not Twilight, and Fifty Shades of Grey only started as Twilight. So, yeah, aren't you glad that we don't have to read the that as a fan fiction? Oh, God, I hate that story. I hate it so much. I keep telling people all the time, you know, just send in, send in Twilight donations. Just just double it up if you want to send around 50. Of course, I have pointed out to Hushicho by this point that the more donations we get for Twilight just means that we're that much closer to going back and reading Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know. I mean, as long as we can prolong that... <laughs> as long as we can postpone that experience, you know, as long as possible. If anybody wants to donate 50 bucks, we can read chapter 3, <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. But if you want to donate 54 and say it's just for two chapters of Twilight, that's also an option. But aside from self-promotion of other things we've been doing... <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be reading this. It's eight chapters long, I think. Yes. I'm going to start out and we're going to switch every chapter, which we haven't done in a very long time. We haven't done what for a very long time? I'm sorry, I zoned out for a moment. Switch by chapter instead of by paragraph. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, it's been so long, you were like, we are? Really? <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I don't even remember the last time we did that. It was, I think it was a Twilight story. Yeah, it, it must have been, and it was a long time ago. Yeah, pretty much. It was, <laughs> whatever the the last chapter story was... Well, technically, it was a Twilight story, but we still haven't finished it, and that was the one we were reading with Hawk. The one you did the title card for, with Beyonce. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like that one. <laughs> that one was so funny. <laughs> we need to uh, find the time to finish that. Yes, we do. I don't even remember what the reading order was on that, so... <laughs> I don't remember. We can listen back over it again when it comes closer to the time to do it and pick up from there. <laughs> on fanfiction.net category books section twilight we are reading bleeding love by edwards goth girl 666 if you want to follow along there will be a link down in the description below let's go thanks to my biff for introducing me to twilight exclamation point exclamation point and i got the title from a goth, goth fic song, it's preppy, sorta, bit, it's gothic, so fic goth, btw, thanks for getting me a spickler to 
Haha, shows you preps right. What the fuck is a spelka too? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she means a sparkler as a vampire? I don't know. It's certainly not a spell checker too. <laughs> Small X. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter one. Hi, my name, my name, name. There we go. Is Alexia Midnight and Alexia really wins? Colin. I would name, I would name a child that. I don't know why they would name him Alexia, let alone Midnight or whatever Wins is. And Ale Alexia is okay, I guess. Alexia has that sort of. Harlequin romance um, protagonist feel to it, but it's a it's a perfectly you know okay name. But midnight with an apostrophe, anorexia, whence? It's stuff we've seen before, so I'm not really surprised. Like the only thing that throws me off about that sentence is the anorexia part as a name. Yeah. Like, why would you name your child that? Who would give the child a name like that? Like that is. I want them to be puking their guts out so they'll be super skinny and look like a zombie. Yeah, and probably die horribly at a young age. I mean, ugh. Yeah, like a heart attack. It's horrifying to me. Like, when I was, uh, I, I don't know if I've told this story before, but when I was, back when I was learning uh, dance and doing dance and everything, and our instructor and choreographer was just like, look, we're going we're gonna to learn about eating disorders because I don't want any of you to develop eating disorders because... As you know, dancers kind of tend to be in the high high risk groups for those. And oh my god, I know so much about eating disorders now, and it's terrifying. I have short black hair with blue high highlights, so my hair, as in a bunny, looks like the night sky. Um, I'm not sure you've ever been outside at night, because if you have been, you would know that the sky. Does it have blue highlights? In fact, it's a very, very, very dark blue color because there's no sun to shine through the atmosphere to give it its light blue color. The more you know. Learning science with Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> In Twilight fan fiction. Apparently. But apparently it's her rabbit that is black <laughs> with blue highlights, I guess. Well, no, she has short black hair. But a rabbit has blue highlights. Okay, I understand now. Looks like the night sky, which is where I got my middle name for- No, it isn't. Anorexia? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Where I got my middle name from, if you didn't notice, lol. I am wearing, so you're a, trying to say you're a werewolf or something? Are we going to be fucking you with a werewolf? Because you failed math class or something? Maybe maybe she measured a best friend and has a fucked by a werewolf. And she she flunked. Necrophilia, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I am wearing a long black gothic dress with blue fishnet lace because black and blue are my favorite colors and because I'm at a party because I'm a... Oh my god, stop saying because! <laughs> And because I'm at a party, and because I have a bunny, and because black and blue are my favorite colors, and because I'm wearing a gothic dress, and a got gothic dress, because, um, because, you know. Because I'm a vampire. <laughs> vampire. What the hell? I'm a vampire. <laughs> Well, it's better than being a vampire, I guess. <laughs> I guess I guess this, instead of being the undead, is just the vapid. It's like Vapora from that Daredevil comic. I guess you never had the misfortune to read that. <laughs> no, I don't remember that one, but... Uh... They gave that to us in middle school. I remember reading it, and I'm just like, Who in the hell is going to clean shit with gasoline? Why would you do that? <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm like, I've never even heard of people doing this. What the hell? Why would you do that? That's stupid. And that was something Daredevil actually had to fight because the vapors from the gasoline made this creature called Vapora. Wow. <laughs> you know, 
maybe people should just be like, you know, maybe you should wait until you're an adult to clean things with things like gasoline and, and so forth. Because I know there are some things that you can clean with, with gasoline and, and things like that that are very powerful and have a have a strong odor. But they could have just as easily used something else instead of gasoline. I mean, yeah. it, it's it just... Well, see, I didn't even know people actually did that until I think it was when Kara reviewed that particular comic, which I should give you a link to so you can w watch <laughs> it and see how stupid this comic is. But uh, if I remember right, he explained, he's like, okay, to give this some context so that when I'm talking about this comic, you understand. And he goes into explaining what they used to use gasoline for. And I'm like, well, I never knew this stuff. But it's still stupid because it's highly flammable. Yeah, it's not the wisest thing to do in any case. I'm wearing black leather high heel boots with black spiderweb stock sto uh, socks. I, I, I was trying to say stockings, but then I'm like, no, that's not stockings. That's socks that go up to my thighs, which looks really sexy, but I'm not a whore. <laughs> How does this make you a whore? And who who cares if you're having sex with people? Like, seriously, what does it even matter? Like, just what, use a condom and some birth control. I'm really sexy, but I'm not a whore. That's <laughs> just like randomly answer, oh, by the way, I don't have sex, you know, outside of marriage. <laughs> Why did I need to know that? We were talking about cookies. <laughs> yeah, well, this is even worse. It's like... It would be like having a conversation with someone and they just happen to mention, hey, I don't have sex with people for money as a profession. I just want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> like, apropos of nothing, you know. I just want you to know, Cassie, I don't have sex people. Sex people. Oh my God. <laughs> this, this story is already getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I blame allergies. <laughs> Because Husho and I have both been suffering something awful. Yeah, it's, I don't know what the deal is, but this year allergies are worse. I think this is the worst they've ever been in my life. But yeah, mentioning mentioning your sex life or choice of profession in the middle of a completely otherwise completely unrelated topic is not is not the most cogent or fun way to... So I'm at this party and I like cookies. They have milk over there. And, um, I like bondage. <laughs> Stares off into space. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining this, you know, entering into our everyday lingo, you know, <laughs> like, I'm not a lesbian. Oh, it probably will be. Because uh, some of these stories where we just like start quoting them and <laughs> just start laughing because we're stupid. Like I seriously, that. like I seriously get a get a kick out of out of being like I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a plebeian. <laughs> I haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> I walked into the party. I thought she was already at a party. Yeah, uh, but you know technicalities. And I saw my brother, Edward Cullen! Three exclamation points. <laughs> uh, why would this be such a surprise? <laughs> I'm really excited about my brother being here. Like, oh my god, why? <laughs> I'm his stepsister from New York. Um, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not. And even if you wanted to make up a character that was, why wouldn't she already just be living with them? Yeah, also they've... It would be really weird for him to have a stepsister because, like, just like all the rest of the Cullen kids, he was adopted by the parents. So a stepsister would be really odd in that case. And this also makes me wonder, she says she's from New York and mentions this why we don't know, but where does that mean this is taking place? Like, to explain why she wasn't there in the original story? I guess, but... It's just kind of like she could have just said she never gets to see him a lot because of, you know, family differences, geographical differences, whatever. But her specifically mentioning New York makes me wonder, is she so surprised to see him at this party because they're in New York? Or what? Why is this such a surprise? I'm, I'm, I don't know. So I never get to see him a lot, but he a hot. 
<laughs> um, you're not supposed to be checking out your brother. I didn't read incest anywhere as a, as part of this story. Well, stepsister. Well, granted, yeah, but people still count that as incest. Oh, uh, so. well, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure because stuff with no, it's it's not it's not technically um in most in most places being a step sibling is not um like if you if you're let's say for example if Edward's father <laughs> Edward's <laughs> if Edward's father married um married a, a new wife after his first wife had had Edward and they and they had gotten divorced and in some undead way I guess. <laughs> And anorexia here was... I'm going to start calling her Bulimia Jones because that's easier for me to remember. Bulimia Jones over here was, you know, this woman's daughter. And so she becomes his step-sibling. She's not actually related. Yeah, but I'm saying most people, which they just kind of lump that together, like, you're family now, so you can't do stuff. And I'm like, well, technically they can because they're not actually related, yeah. but whatever. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into technicalities of that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that legally it does not count as incest. Yeah. Well, unless you are, like, literally related. But he hot. Not a hottie, or he is hot. He's a hot. Yeah, he a hot. So he is on fire. He a hot. Somebody put him out. He is on fire. He's in the sun. Well, no, he sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wrong, wrong vampire lore. His hair is back. Oh, so I guess he was bald and it grew back. It's back! <laughs> With red hot... Why? Since when did Edward ever put streaks in his hair? Okay. With red highlights. And he is wearing lots of black eyeliner for some reason. And white foundation to make him look pale... Pale butt. <laughs> <laughs> to make him look pale butt. He's already really white. Well, yes, he's Caucasian. <laughs> Why would someone as pale as Edward Cullen put on white foundation? There's no need. Because he's gothic. He's got thick. He's fucking China white. He doesn't need <laughs> <He's> it. Got... <laughs> he he needs to. He doesn't need to look China white. He needs to look blue white with a blue tint. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, he is dressed in a good char Charlotte t-shirt. Why would he wear this? That is ripped all over. Then why would he wear it? It's a piece of shit shirt. He ruined it. And hot black skinny J's also with rips in them. Did somebody attack him? Like Freya Krueger show up and start slashing him to bits? What the hell? Why would he wear rags around a party? I know! Edward's, Edward's tied it up like the, like the prostitute she isn't and is wearing rags. How is this Edward Cullen? He is besegual. <laughs> but there's something wrong with that. Well, I'm glad you know that, but you should properly say bisexual. <laughs> One time, I walled... <laughs> Walled? Well, 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 I don't know. Well, well, <laughs> on, in on him, having it with some weird boy, ha having what, sex, a fight, were they masturbating, <laughs> 69ing, <laughs> and it was hot, and you just stood there and watched. That's kind of rude, you should ask if it's okay first, and then, secondly, if you can join in. But anyway, <laughs> is ding dingy was hanging out of the other guy. What? That's your Oh my god! <laughs> Did it detach itself? <laughs> he got it stuck inside. Look, he's undead, all right. Sometimes things just fall off. He's not a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's been a long At time. At least I don't think he is. <laughs> What the hell? And there was stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading stuff wrong now, damn it. His dinghy was hanging out of the other guy's ass, and there was stuff dripping uh. all over the place. Well, I would think so if his penis detached from his body. Yeah, and uh, don't be don't be too clear there what kind of stuff, you know, some sort of general kind of stuff. It, it was loose change. I hope so. 
I hope so. Because because given the situation there could be there could be stuff or there could be stuff and and it's not a pretty picture. Four exclamation points. <laughs> It was so hot that I went back to my coffin and masturbate, masturbated? No, it's, it's, well, it's right except for the E. It should be masturbated, not masturbated, but. Okay. Yeah. He looks like that Cedric Diggory guy from Harry Potter. C Cedric Diggory, but yeah, that's because the same actor plays both characters. Ah, uh, but Harry <laughs> Potter is for preps, because that was totally for preps. Twilight is so much better because Stephanie Myers can actually write bullshit. Yeah. For exclamation point. Uh, to weigh in on uh, on all of this, you know, both of them are way up marketed teen fiction. So <laughs> take that, take all of it with a grain of salt. I can't. I can't really say other than I've read one book and I've read one chapter of Twilight. So there. That's, that's my two cents into the whole thing. Well, you know, when in, when any of this stuff is upmarketed, so often it's just, you know, it's usually okay at best. Mm -hmm. And then, then people get put into, you know, different different groups. Like, oh, well, this is, this is way better than this. Now, ultimately, it's like potato, potato. It's the same damn thing. Yeah, I was going to say, it's people's opinion, really. If I really like something, that doesn't mean you're going to, and vice versa. Yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't really make it great either. There's so much of a tendency now for people to try and make things out to be way more, like, profound and meaningful than they really are. Like, I, I don't know, I have a bunch of things that I like, but I'm not kidding myself that all these things are, like, super-duper important and meaningful and everything, like, to anybody but me. Yeah. Like it's it's not like it's something that's just this big this big huge thing in in the world that that is just so essential for life. You know? <laughs> it's just silly, you know. It's entertainment. Incest is kind of gross, but since I'm his stepsister, it's okay. You're not related technically, so it's not incest. Plus, you haven't grown up with him, so you couldn't even say psychologically it's incest. Yeah, that's that's kind of like. Yet another thing that really doesn't even need to be said, like the whole I don't have sex with people for money thing that she mentioned after talking about her clothes and a party. Yeah. yeah. What would be better is to say I'm, I really like him, but not in a sisterly kind of way, but it kind of bothers me because I know socially it's not acceptable, but I still have these feelings. That, or it could, it would be a more interesting story if it, well, number one, if it were actually written proficiently, but number two, if she had said something like, you know, I am I worry that because we are step-siblings now that it is wrong for me to have these feelings, that it is wrong for me to have these feelings, but I do anyway. And like the whole story could be about her coming to terms with these feelings and yeah. maybe even finding out that it, it's neither illegal nor, you know, immoral because they're not actually related, so there's nothing actually wrong for them, you know, getting it off. So, but but no, this is not the story we will have. Yeah, sure. but no. <laughs> yeah, but no. Oh, God, I love Selbe. <laughs> that is like the best thing the show has produced. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, was, I, was I was very comforted to know that I was not the only one who had incorporated yeah but no into daily <laughs> speech it's such a great line because you because then you realize you know what i don't have to give a shit about this yeah but no bye i'm getting the fuck out of here yeah like like recently you remember in in the past week i just uh, about a week ago in fact i was really just scraping rock bottom i was feeling awful mm -hmm. i was feeling so pressured by all this shit and then I just reached a point, and it was just like there was this light shining down, and Selbe was there. <laughs> and I just said, yeah, but no. You know, I just, I just said, yeah, but no, to all this shit, because I don't give a fuck. I, I ran out of fucks. Yeah, but no. And that's a beautiful, beautiful, glorious feeling, especially when you usually give too many fucks, you know? Yeah. Like, when you really care way too much about shit that doesn't really matter that much. So, yeah, that that was great. I do agree that 
Selby was one of the best things to come out of this show because Selby has touched my life in a in a way that uh, has really stayed with me, if you can call it that. <laughs> And two goths doing it is hot even, even, even if that are brother and sister. <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, I have to be into both of them to know if they were, what they were doing was hot. Just saying. <laughs> Hi, Ed, Edard. I screamed. <laughs> Ibrantly running over to him. Ibrantly? Ibrantly? <laughs> is this the, like the Iberian Peninsula or something? What the hell is Ibrantly mean? I don't know. <laughs> but she screamed it abruptly. <laughs> I think she means abruptly. I don't know. But I don't know why you would do it abruptly. You'd just be like, hey, brother, how are you? Are you still doing that guy I saw you with that one time? <laughs> with all the stuff coming out of your ass? No. Well, you want to go in the back room and have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, the gothic vampires, because apparently this is a party of just vampires. Yeah, I guess I guess they must have had... I guess, what is Al? Al is like the leader of the gothic vampires? I, I guess. <laughs> all right. And apparently he, he stared uh, at her funny because she was apparently so beautiful <laughs> even the girls were looking at me because they were probably bi but i'm not sure <laughs> you know if i look at and evaluate another girl that does not mean i'm bi <laughs> i saw a, a a picture of a friend of a female friend once and i thought she was very good looking in that picture, but that does not mean I'm bi. Bi would imply I feel sexual attraction to my friend. I didn't. I just love how she. I just love how she claims that, and then she's like, "But I'm not sure." There's there's so many of these butts coming out of nowhere that have nothing to do with anything. Like <laughs> Miller. <laughs> Hell oh, Lord, get it, Alexia. He shouted happily at me. Did he shout a bit in parentheses? Was that just an aside? Hello. You'll get it. <laughs> I hugged him right in the chest. Assessed. Ow. Ouch. Right in the cest. It's like... That, that should be, someone should do a program where they just read, like, incest fic and call it right in the cyst. Oh my god, I was thinking something similar. <laughs> I was like, from now on, incest is just cest for yes. me. It's like, you know how they say that hits me right in the feels? Yeah. <laughs> that hits me right in the cest. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody feels like sending in incest stories or if I ever find a bad thick incest, we will totally read that on the show and we will call it right in the set. We should do a special. We should do like a special and be like, hey guys. We could read a supernatural one too. Well technically we have read incest on the show. So. Yeah, we've read we've read several. We've read several. Have we? Because I know the Supernatural one had incest. And I did read that one book for Red Knot that had incest. Yeah, we've read, we've read a few that have, that have had incest. Have we? Oh, well, also, Relay Board had incest. Well, no, wait, she was adopted, wasn't she? I don't remember. She was adopted, but it was... It's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long. OMFG! I can feel his muscles pressing against me. His mucles? Muco mucles. <laughs> well, this is a different Edward, so I guess he doesn't have muscles ever coming out from everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that was a weird laugh. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. <laughs> I'm going to draw a picture of you and Captain. Mine is a weird laugh. <laughs> <laughs> a weird laugh. Such a strange fellow. <laughs> yeah, his 
mucels pressing against me. So apparently it was definitely right in the cess, which is how she's able to feel it pressing against her. And it is so hit. Goths are skinny. No, they're not. Some are, some aren't. But who cares? Because abs are hot. Uh. Then why bring it up? What? That is. These are not even connected thoughts. Like people who are people who are skinny do not automatically have defined abdominal muscles. Like people don't have defined muscles by default. I held on really tight so that I could feel him up. So you're <laughs> checking checking out his cock. Your your hands are moving down his back to grasp his butt, and then planting the, your hands on his chest to. Fill his chest and abs, I guess. She's honking his boobs. <laughs> this one's Petunia, and this one's Roxy. <laughs> and when I saw him smiling, I continued to fail his biddy. <laughs> but then I looked, walked beside him, and there was some weird prep girl wearing a pink preppy shirt saying, Prep and proud. Why would they have a shirt like that? And why would she be wearing it? Yes. Why at a party that is clearly predominantly gothic would someone wear a preppy outfit that says prep and proud? You would think that that would communicate some sort of awareness of this whole antagonistic culture that, that these fanfics have developed between preps and goths. And preppy blue jeans, how could you tell, with no rips in them at all? Oh no, she's wearing a decent pair of pants. What will we ever do, Hoosh Show? <laughs> yeah, and you know, when I was when I was going to the goth clubs, people did not tend to wear just bratty ass ripped jeans. Most of them wore trousers of another kind or they would wear like trousers with these elaborate straps in them or, you know, patent leather trousers or something like that. They they I really never saw ripped jeans at any goth club from anyone who was gothic so i don't know where this idea of rags is is coming from really unless you just really just want to see edward naked without him being naked <laughs> her hair was dyed as in it killed itself <laughs> blowed but it had <laughs> but it had some brown left in it so i think she uh natural brunette who is just pretending to be a prep bit preps can e brunette too well no shit sherlock <laughs> you know people dye their hair and they don't they're not even preps who's the prep asked edward edward luli <laughs> why the fuck are you hanging around with an ugly prep like that bitch over there well first of all you're an asshole second of all you're an asshole yeah, she wasn't and over there. And third of all, if you're an asshole. She wasn't over there either. She was right beside him, as you just finished saying. Who are you calling a prep, you goth bitch? <laughs> First of all, what does her being goth matter? Second of all, yes, yeah, she is a bitch. <laughs> all these things, it's like... Punch her in the face. After anybody speaks, you could always put in, said no one, ever. <laughs> the prep shouted, uh, shouted back at me. Then we ought into a fight. <laughs> I took out my black razor with pink stripes. I thought this was preppy. So why is it? Why does it have pink? Well, you know, gothic punk. You can have pink and black together, surely. With pink stripe, uh, yeah, stripes on it, and slit the girl's <laughs> neck and drank her blood. How can you do this? I thought they were all vampires at this party. <laughs> Oh my god. It was gross, but it you was a quicker way yeah. to kill her. So I did it anyway. No. You, were you didn't have to drink her blood to kill her. You slit her throat. She How was is... pretty much going to die in like a few seconds. How is this gross? You're a fucking vampire. It's blood. Maybe it's because it's a, a, a prep. Somehow it's nasty. I, I, I would like to give her that much credit, but I don't think she deserves it. The girl's body fell to the floor, and I spit her blood out. Then why drink it in the first place? On her, out on her skirt, so the words were blurred out. They wouldn't be blurred out; they'd be covered. 
and then it would soak into her shirt or skirt or whatever. Oh, I, I think I read skirt, but it's shirt, <laughs> whatever. And then you could still see the words, whatever. Oh my fucking god! Why did you kill Brittany? <laughs> you know, what's funny is that if you hadn't read it in that voice, I was going to ask you to read it in a <laughs> voice. <laughs> well, that's usually my go-to phrase to try to get into my valley girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Becky, did you, or however that goes, I can't think of it now. Why did you kill Brittany? <laughs> like, totally, you're, you bet. Oh my god, I can't believe you murdered her. Well, I'll just go over to Antoinette. <laughs> I am Antoinette. Screw this party, it sucks. I am Antoinette. <laughs> then why were you going by Brittany, and why did they kill you? I, they didn't kill me. <laughs> Then why are you saying Brittany is you? I'm not! <laughs> then why did you kill Brittany? <laughs> Ooh, Dad <laughs> shot it at me. Her name used to be Bella, but she changed it to Brittany because that was pe- preppy, preppy yar, yer, preppy yer. Leave Brittany alone! Leave Brittany alone! <laughs> I don't under. Why? So we secretly killed Bella. <laughs> Just so we could secretly kill Bella. Why even go to the trouble of renaming her if you're just going to kill her within, like, a page? He cried tears of blood down his face. (laughs) 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 And slapped me hard on the cheek, making me bleed all over the place from hitting you on the cheek? (laughs) Damn, instead of slapping you, did he punch you in the nose? What the hell? (laughs) She has a, a unique condition. I, I guess. <laughs> he ran into the dungeon? The dungeon. This was a really kinky party, apparently. Yeah, also... Unless really, the wrestlers... Also a really fancy party. You know how expensive it is to rent dungeons? I have no clue. It's very expensive. Maybe the, it's not that kind of a dungeon. Maybe they were being trained by the Hart family. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just thinking, how many different kinds of dungeons are there? The wrestler family and um, the, oh, oh, okay, uh, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, them. <laughs> sorry, yeah, it took me a moment. Because because his little training area in his house was called the dungeon. Yeah. Anyway, and I also started to cry tears of blood down my feces <laughs> and slit my wrists. Riz- oh my god. It wasn't my fault. I really hate preps. It totally was your fault. Who else did that? You fucking murdered someone. How was that your fault? You know, I, I, I mentioned Freddy Krueger might have been at this party and attacked Edward, but uh, maybe maybe she he made her attack Bella? I don't know. I don't know. I know where all of his clothes got the rips from, though, that pink and black razor. But now Ed, Edward is really mad at me. So I walked over to my friend, Will W. <laughs> Amy. What? Will Will W. Amy Sadness Hot is as gothic because I wouldn't have have any prep friends. Well, I should sure hope not. That's what you're gonna do to him, <laughs> asshole. Will W. Amy Sadness. <laughs> I have a feeling we've read My Immortal, <laughs> and, and we're paying tribute to My Immortal. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking from the very beginning. <laughs> I would probably kill them like I did to Brittany. Well, I'm glad at least you're thinking about that. <laughs> I also love how it changes from Brittany to Brinty. I think it's wonderful, because it's, like, consistent. Yeah. It's always either Brittany or Brinty. It's never... <laughs> Why is Edward mad at you, Willow asks me. She also likes Edward, but I told her not to even try it, or I would slow- Wow, <laughs> you are a shit friend! Wow. And apparently it doesn't matter if your friends are gothic or not, because you're just gonna kill them if they get near your man. Sounds as bad as bad movie. Which, you know, you're not even dating him yet, and even if you were dating him, you can't say that shit. Wow, asshole. <laughs> yeah, this is great. It's like, you know, we- having a friend murdered and sodomized <laughs> by, by a werewolf over a poster. And a sweater, yeah. 
but I told her not I slit her throat, so instead she is dating Marilyn Manson? Yeah, because that would happen. He's how old, and she's how old, and he's famous, and she's not? I don't think so. She has long blonde hair, but she shows not a prep, duh, because it has black tips, and she dressed gothic with a short black mini skirt, the color of the night sky, so it's the same color as your hair, with chain and stuff. Is she wearing a chastity belt? What the hell would chain be doing around? Whatever. <laughs> she looks kind of hot, but I'm not a les. Lezo, I am just bi. Dude, dude, do you not know what bi means? <laughs> do, do you not, do you not know words? Apparently not. Or sexualities. Apparently not. But being bi is hot, so it doesn't matter. Unless she wants to, unless she wants to date your <laughs> brother slash love interest, then you'll just slit her throat. Yeah, because fetishizing a, uh, a sexual orientation is hey okay So it doesn't matter. All my other friends were bi because you wouldn't have had a gay friend or a straight <laughs> friend or a demisexual friend or an asexual friend or somebody into animals as a friend. Yeah, like, why does it matter what someone labels themselves anyway? Just, like, you think just because you're bi, you're hot? I don't think so. Two, so no one made fun of me. I don't know why anyone with a proper mind would. Or why your friends also being apparently bisexual would stop them from making fun of you, because it's not like that's the only thing in life for people to make fun of. Yeah. Leave me alone! <laughs> I, I screamed at her as I ran away depressingly to my bedroom, which apparently was in her house. I guess. I guess you live with your best friend? Whatever. Wait, or did she say she go home? She went home? I'm confused. Hold on. Walked over to my friend. So wait, where was this party and where was your friend? I don't know. <laughs> uh, also, she didn't... She didn't even... What? She didn't even answer the question. Like, she... She was crying, and her friend asked why he was mad at her, and then she was like, Leave me alone! Yeah, pretty much. And she ran away, like, that's, that's... Ugh. I screamed at her and ran depressingly away to my be bedroom, which is in the basement, because... Yeah, we're not surprised, though. It is a large, dark, black room with torches with fire on them. Uh, because as to a... I, I would like to think the walls aren't on fire. As opposed to a large, light black room. I don't think black really has stages of blackness. I think it's just black or it's not. I've never heard of dark black. In the middle was a large black coffin with blue cotton fabric inside of it. Oh, no, it's a large back coffin. Oh, oh, large back co Okay. I'm, I'm imagining it like this wing back chair or something. <laughs> It was a large bat coffin with blue cotton fabric inside of it that was the I'm color of the highlights in my hair. Yeah, it's got a... I don't know why, but okay. If you if you should decide that you want to change the color of the highlights in your hair... Oh shit, I've got to get a new coffin and redecorate the whole house. It doesn't go with my hair anymore. I took out my riser and slit my wrists and blood got all over my coffin. But I didn't care because I made Edward angry over reaction much. <laughs> I wanted to do some crack, but I left it inside my coffin. I thought you were in your coffin, whatever. So I opened it, but then I opened it to see if it were masturbating. Why did, did, wouldn't you have noticed him running off to your room? You would think so. He went to the dungeon, not the basement. Chapter 2. Uh... It's Thanksgiving, so I worked on the stray all weekend. I have five chapters plus it gets guys bells me. No, no haters. Just give it a two I think somebody started drinking when they were writing this. They were really, really stoned and drunk, I think. 
I, I think someone was was suffered a large blow to the head. <laughs> or they were missing some keys. Uh X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, why is your chapter so short? I don't Bullcrap. Bullcrap, sir. Chapter two. Edward, what the fuck are you doing? I screamed extrachically. What the fuck does that mean? Also, she knows what... Well, apparently she screamed extra excitedly, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, and she knows what he was doing. She she just told us it was the cliffhanger from chapter one. She knows what he's doing. He's It's not... And it's not like she wouldn't know what he's doing. I mean, can I... That's not mom's. That's not mom's. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. I still have our conversation about that. She turned that into a talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, back on topic. I um, I thought that it was really hot what he was doing, but he might get a mess on my silk blue coffin. You said it was cotton. There, you fucking bled all over. Well, I think she bled all over the top. Then she opened it to get her crack. But now <laughs> apparently it's no longer cotton; it's silk. Yeah, but I mean, she got blood all over the fucking thing, and she's worried that he might get jizz on it. Blood is a lot <laughs> harder to get out of things than jizz. <sighs> that I paid 9,000 bucks for at Hot Topic. What? I'm pretty sure they don't do those. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not a funeral home. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure they don't carry coffins. and um, Unless it's like a fox coffin actually made out of cardboard. And then a, you put silk sheets in it for some a reason. A faux coffin. A faux coffin. Not like not like fox the animal, but like fo like f a u x, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't even think that they do that. No, <laughs> not that I know of. But I've only been in that store once. Yeah. But just so so we can straighten this out, that's usually how I pronounce it because I've heard it both ways. Okay, it's pronounced fo. It means false in in French. Yeah, I I know. Yeah. Okay, and that's which is why I said a fox coffin, right? Not a coffin about. Foxes. Right, not a not an animal coffin, but a faux coffin. Yeah, because people will think that it's, <laughs> people will think that we mean fox. We don't mean foxes. We love foxes. No, no, not that kind of fox. Yeah, foxes are cute. I thought that it was really hot what he was doing, but he might get a mess on my silk blue coffin that I paid nine thousand bucks for at Hot Topic, and that would make me really angry. And yeah, why would that be so much for a coffin, even in a place like Black Topic? Black Topic. <laughs> it is Black Topic now. Shut up! They changed their name. I'm not like just now. I'm not a prep. <laughs> not totally not a prep. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you call me a prep, I'll show up in the middle of the <laughs> night and cut your throat with my razor blade that I conveniently have for some reason. And then I'll drink your blood and spit it back onto you. I'm not a whore. I don't have sex with people for money. <laughs> I'm bi, but yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not actually bi, by the way. I'm not a lizard. See what I did there? Uh, yes. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. <laughs> right in the cyst. Right in the cyst. I tried to pull him out by his arm, but I accidentally touched his thingy, as you would do when reaching for someone's arm. Because I would have grabbed him by the by his upper arm, not around his wrist. <laughs> And why are you calling it a thingy? Are you eight? And how many, like, how many hands does he have on it? Could you not have grabbed the other one if you wanted to go for his wrist? <laughs> I'm assuming Edward is right-handed and that you're, and that he's facing your left for you, you know. Yeah, but. I said that wrong, but what I mean is, you know. Yeah. She's next to his left side. <laughs> yes. That's nice. <laughs> he said six <laughs> Very questionably. <laughs> pulled me into the coffin. How? How can you do that? Also, There's, you know, most, it's made for one person. You would, you would also think that you know, this would kind of unbalance the coffin, so it would probably fall onto the floor, which is not sexy at all. Unless it's already in the floor. Well, she didn't. Yeah, that's, that's true. It may well be in the floor. That's that's a good point. Maybe it is already in the floor. He closed the top and pulled off my clothes. And that. Uh, 
you you can't do that in a closed coffin. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> Unless this thing is fucking huge for like a, a a thousand pound person, I don't think it's possible. It would have to be like a family sized coffin. <laughs> There's no way you'd get off your clothes in a regular one. Like I I am I am reminded of the sequence in uh, I think it's Interview with the Vampire where Lestat and Louis are in a coffin together and it was a very it was a very homoerotic situation and that's why it was a homoerotic situation because there isn't a lot of room in a coffin if you are hiding in a coffin you are hiding right up on each other anyway uh, uh pulled off my clothes and tried to put his you know what into my thingy wait he has a thingy and you have a thingy and he has a you know what now too i see <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I shouted again at him. Because I don't know what sex is, because I'm not a whore. <laughs> His eyes were all red and stuff. How do you know this? It's in the dark. How, how red are they? Are they just a little bloodshot? Does he have pink eye? What's he been doing? <laughs> so I thought he was being possessed by something, even though this has not really been established as a sign of possession. Or that possession can even happen in this universe <laughs> that you exist in. Your soul will be my sacrifice, the person possessing you, Dodd, because there's now a person possessing him. I guess. So your, Maybe it's Bella. Your off-the-wall stupid assumption is actually correct. You, Dodd, shouted at my emoli, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> It, it, it's her emoli. You know, everybody's got an emoli. I don't know. I, I don't I don't show my emoli in public. I was raised to be Yeah, that I don't wrong. either. <laughs> but times are different now, so you know kids these days. <laughs> yeah. Times are different, you know. In olden days, a glimpse of stalking was thought of as something shocking, but heaven knows anything goes. I totally <laughs> fucked that up. I'm sorry. It it was kind of hot because I had a thing for evil spirits and stuff. How do you know it's evil? <laughs> Maybe it's an angel possessing him that needs a soul to sacrifice. You don't know. Yeah, and how lo how often would this whole evil spirits thing come up? Also, how how sexy would this really be if you're experiencing it? Like, I understand having a thing for like bad boys and wicked evil and darkness and shit, but. When it's, I mean, hello, Caleb here. That's all her business. Yeah, I mean, it, but it's it's a different thing to you know find it find the thought appealing than it is to like be there in reality most of the time. You know, like yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's probably a point for another time. <laughs> we'll get off on another huge tangent. <laughs> then I remember. Might be best. This this is really short. <laughs> but then I remembered. Remembered. Oh yeah, she did spell error. I remembered that he was evil, so I took my razor out. Who, the spirit or Edward? I guess it doesn't matter because she's getting a razor out again. And sloth. When did you put it up? I don't know. How can she get it out in a coffin? And slothed at his pale white chest, and blood went all over my coffin. Why, why would you do that? It's inside Edward. You would need to <laughs> exercise the evil spirit. Also, weren't you just freaking out about the possibility of him jizzing all over your coffin? So you're going to bleed on your coffin that you were worried about him jizzing on, like jizzing like two tablespoons, but now he's bleeding out from the chest. Yeah, that's going to be so much less to clean up. I opened it up and ran, but it, Edward caught up fast. He grabbed onto my arm and tried to do me. <laughs> Truly. So, so what is this? Like an evil fucking spell? What the hell is it? Why? Truly, this author's grasp of words rivals only the master Shakespeare and all of the greatest poets of our time. Of course. Oh wait, I I insert overused M. Bison clip from Street Fighter. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ew. A little girl shouted to our chagrin. Where did she come from? Everybody from the party came into the hall that I guess... I thought you were in the basement. Yeah, I thought she was in the basement and Edward had gone to the dungeon, but apparently they're just in the hall because that's where they keep their coffins. 
and looked at the two naked people having you know what. When did they become? So naked? there's a different set of people having you know what going on. Yeah, whatever you know what happens to be and naked. Yeah, I was so. Maybe they were just messing with their fingers. Like somebody made their hand to a circle, and the other one's putting a finger through it, and they're just. Being <laughs> <the same>. <laughs> <laughs> They're making they're making obscene shadow puppets. <laughs> <laughs> One has really big boobs. The other the other is smoking crack. <laughs> I was so embarrassed and Edward snapped out of whatever the fuck he was doing. I love I love how exact she is and stuff. Whatever the fuck he was doing. I want to put that in my book. Uh, next time I write another book, I'm going to be like, yeah. So the character did whatever the fuck he was doing, and then. Because that's what you do when you're writing. That's what a that's what a real writer. Yes, exactly. You be as vague as possible. <laughs> Whatever the fuck this character's doing, I don't know. Some shit happened, and then someone died. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was doing crack, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, <laughs> no. She said it was an evil spirit. Then it turns out she's right, but not really. He was just doing her crack that he didn't have permission to be using. By the way, even though he shouldn't have been doing crack in the first place, even though he's a vampire, I don't think that would have any effect on him. Also, is nobody bothered by the tremendous loss of blood? I mean, I know they are vampires, but uh, they kind of need it to live. Yeah. So, like, we've got we've got her with slit wrists, presumably still bleeding out. We've got him with a chest slashed multiple times by a razor. Somehow, even though I don't think that works in the Twilight universe. Yeah, so, yeah. Sorry I was doing crack, Edward told me embarrassingly, blushing. He was so cute when he blushed, although I don't know how much, how he actually managed to do it, because what blood does he have left? Yeah, shouldn't he be, like, incredibly hungry and just start attacking humans on the spot by this point? I would imagine that he would be very hungry or very weak or probably some combination of the two that would not be a very safe combination and she would likely be the same way. I wanted to make out with him, but I remembered that we were being scared. But now you want to have sex with him. <laughs> but before, he was, it was just an evil spirit for some reason. Yeah, yeah. But I remembered that we were being stared at by everyone. Because you forget that. We ran to the end of... The long, majestic hallway. I love how it's long and majestic now. It was just the hall before. But and then also, also, Edward knows exactly what she wants to do and that she's leaving and he should go with her. <laughs> Maybe he was just like, oh, I see she's getting the fuck out of here. That's a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> and And elegantly fled from the window into the night. That makes it sound like you were running away from the window which was pursuing you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was. We knew, not new as... New shiny car. Yeah, we knew as in a new car. We knew that we were now outcasts from that... No, you're not. <laughs> they they no, weren't judging. People are going to look at you weird for having sex in the hallway or something in the hallway, but... The only person that pronounced any sort of judgment was some random little girl that we had never seen before saying, Ew. Is that, is that, does that mean you're outcast now? Like, how would she even know to say ooh? How, how would this little kid, just assuming how little she was, <laughs> even know what's going on? <laughs> outcast from that situation, but we were fucked up on drugs, so it wasn't our fault. You were not! He was! And he made the choice to take them! What? When did you do drugs? <laughs> JC disagrees. <laughs> we need to hide somewhere, Edward gasped. Why? Probably. I don't know. I looked over at a street sign and I and saw a poster for GC and they were playing in ten minutes. That's not hiding somewhere, that's going to a concert. Let's go to a concert because a very busy public place full of people is a great place to hide from people that will be after you for being an outcast for some reason. Also, are they still naked? Like Apparently if you read this last line. <laughs> like really. In fact I didn't realize they were naked to begin with. I thought he was just trying to take off her clothes. Well, 
she seemed to imply that they were both naked, and that's why everybody was so... Oh, well, she did say it. Two naked people having you know what. Yeah. Okay. Pinpoint accuracy. That is our, um, what was her name? Edwards Goth Girl 666, yes. Pinpoint accuracy. Not, not vague, not vague at all. Let's go, oh. Let's go to the GC concert! I screamed. Good idea! Edward shouted back at me, but first... For some reason. Yeah, why Why are we shouting? We're supposed to... Like, if we are worried about people finding us, why are we shouting at each other in the middle of the night? Isn't that going to make it easier to find us? Maybe they're hard of hearing. Could be, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe that girl's, you know, saying, you knocked out their hearing. Edward shouted back at me, but first we need to get some clothes, lol, and there's just a stray... Quotation mark. And that's it. That's that's chapter two. <laughs> I like that this was I like that this um this chapter was entitled A Drastic Twist. Like what does that even mean? Uh it was a drastic twist. <laughs> Apparently. Chapter three. The con concert da werewolf Pepin Tom. <laughs> So is it a werewolf called a Tom? His name or... is Pepin Tom. He's... Yeah, that's what I was trying. I was going to try to do a Lord of the Rings thing, but oh yeah. well. He's yes, he's some sort of fantasy European werewolf. Well, sorry guys, they're a little bit not not freaking <laughs> hate. I, I hate haters. <laughs> not freaking hate. I hate I, haters. <laughs> I don't know why you would say H. Eight when you've already said hate twice, but okay. <laughs> they suck freaking cock tilt three three exclamation well, so, points. So does your so does your so does your boyfriend slash stepbrother. <laughs> Le <laughs> slash V me alone a lot of exclamation points. Six 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 Bravo, bravo. And again, I just say sex over and over again really fast. <laughs> Chapter 3, which we've already established. After getting clothes plus <laughs> stuff, we went... <laughs> what stuff did you need? Money for the concert? Did you forget your wallet and shit back there at the party? What the hell? We went to the GC concert! <laughs> Motherfuckers! <laughs> What the hell are you doing, you mother- Oh, I missed a good point to even <laughs> do that. I just realized. Oh, well. What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? Get a room? No, excuse me while I go fuck my boyfriend Gimli! <laughs> God, I hated that story. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still got more stories. <laughs> We should read them one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day when my blood pressure is feeling low, yes. I had on black lipstick and blue eyeshadow. Where did you get the makeup from? That matches my hair. Of course you did. Because you would have that exact color. Which was now in a bun like Amy Lee. Look, Amy Lee doesn't have the monopoly on buns. I put my hair in a bun. Come on. So do I. But it's more like a top knot thing that I put my hair in. But anyway... I was wearing a long black GC shirt that went down to my knees. <laughs> so basically you're wearing an oversized shirt that is way too big for you. And you're just wearing that, I guess. You know, things that people don't seem to realize when they think, oh, this shirt is nice and long. Unless it's a night shirt specifically made to be long and go down your legs a bit then you're probably just using a bigger shirt, and bigger shirts are cut for a bigger body. So you would have a... Unless you have some sewing skills. Yeah, which she has shown no sign of having, and they just picked up this stuff, so I presume it's all off the rack. I don't know why they would let naked people into a store. Well, maybe they use their vampire powers, but my point is, is that the, the head hole would be huge. Uh-huh. And would probably be falling off of her constantly. The arms would be huge. Not to mention it would be wider. Yeah. It would be proportionately wide as it is tall. So you would you would really have a very hard time keeping this on. Or it would look ridiculous. Yeah. There's no way this would look good unless it's like a friggin' nightshirt, like I said. Why would 
Why would they? Why would this GC band even sell night shirts? Pretty much because I, I'm not a small lady, and I have like a triple extra large uh, shirt with the anarchy symbol on it somewhere. And if I put that on, that thing is huge on me. And I basically use it as a night shirt. If I knew where it was, I would anyway. But I mean, that was the whole reason I I got the biggest shirt they had because I'm like. And I need something to sleep in. That was about it. Where was I? To my knees. Not not <laughs> like her knees with a K, but her knees, which is something else. And I had a double strap black leather belt with red buck bucks. <laughs> I guess buckies. Fa- fastened <laughs> around. No, just around my waist. Oh, around your poop, I see. So it was like a dress, so it wasn't slutty or anything. That's delightful. A whole bunch of exclamation points. Oh, I would imagine it wouldn't look slutty unless it's like, (laughs) unless somehow you cropped it up to your boobs or something. (laughs) You know, like I'm I'm wearing these pants and then I, I got this shirt that was too long for me. So then I fixed it so it was just right under my nipple so that I didn't I only flash the bottom of my boobs and not my you know not the nipples of my boobs but the rest of me was showing then I put little belts around my poops yes so I guess she's wearing (laughs) this oversized shirt as a dress which you can do but then you still have the problem of the sleeves and stuff being too big it was so cool and I even got to go onto the stage, why? And I sang some of the really old GC stuff, why? <laughs> because that was the best kind of. What? Um, no, it's not obviously. Why? What? Why would she even be singing this? It, like, does it? Does it? Do she really think that anybody's going to listen? Apparently. Were they there for her or for for this band? Yeah. Also, wouldn't it be kind of shitty to go to a concert? If you only really liked the band's older stuff and didn't really care for their their current stuff, and were just presenting their older stuff as so much better, like why would they even keep you on stage if you were like that? They were all cross dressing tonight. <laughs> what? Since when does GC do that? <laughs> I happen to be a good Charlotte fan. I've never seen them cross dress. Maybe this is another GC band i mean they never have said good charlotte yet they've just said gc yeah i don't think they've said good charlotte since they misspelled it in chapter one (laughs) and we all got into a mosh pit and edward was really jealous at me not of me but at me for some reason i guess because he wanted to be on stage singing instead get away from those crease juicing preps they're not preps. Have you seen Good Charlotte? <laughs> Edwarding shouted Edwarding. Angrily, Edwarding. angrily at me. Edwarding. Edwarding. I'm still Edwarding. I just can't. <laughs> everyone get everyone has a number of gas and start and stared at him. Stared. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Stared. That, that actually. <laughs> Yeah, that actually is correct. You get you get used to it not being correct, though. Yeah, and stared at him really angrily, <laughs> and I felt really sorry for him. So I made out with him and went over to his car, which he had, which said yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Said six 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 in a B six 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 on it. <sighs> Nothing like an unwelcome cameo. Confirmed troll fic. Which I kind of figured, but hey, whatever. Yeah. OMG, Edward, you loved me all along. A lot of explanation point. Um, just making out with him doesn't mean he loves you. You can make out with people that you don't love. You can not make out with people that you do love. I don't really see your point here. I squealed happily and jumped into his arms. We made out in the parking lot for some reason. (laughs) <laughs> and he put his large manly arm up my dress. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why would he just shove his arm up? Is there something we're missing? 
Also, it's not actually a dress. It's an oversized t-shirt. You said <laughs> yes. Hef elt me up, <laughs> and it was nice. We drove into the woods while you're standing there in the parking lot, and he's hef elt you up. How is he driving? Are you driving? Maybe it's a car from Hogwarts. <laughs> we drove into the woods, and then we had sex. I don't know why you could have, why you needed to do that, but okay. Well, at least they make. Oh my fuck fuck um J J J J J J! I screamed or or gaming <laughs> or gaming or a gaming. But then, oh my god, what the fuck! A tall guy asked us, "Why would he be in the middle of the woods? Is he a?" <laughs> You motherfucker! What the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? Didn't I say get a room? <laughs> Don't make me get Gandalf! He's got a hundred foot penis and he'll slap you in the face with it! And it won't be pretty! <laughs> Where the hell is Gimli at? <laughs> he was gothic. I'm sure he was. His name was Black Jacobeth. <laughs> why, why are you saying his name backward? His name was Black Jacobeth. E switched <laughs> his name around because Black sounded more gific than Jacob did. Uh -huh, he was uh -huh. wearing white foundation, black eyeliner, and black lipstick for some reason. Let me remind, let me remind people that um, that white foundation, it's clown white. <laughs> his hair was in a hot mohawk, <laughs> as in moe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know from the three stooges. That was part black, part red. So he just half and half his mohawk? Okay. Well, you know, not even half, just slash here and a chunk there. and. He was wearing a black GC... Okay, look. There are other bands that both <laughs> gothic and non-gothic people like, aside from Good Charlotte, or at least I'm assuming it's Good Charlotte. There are likely other bands with the initials GC. He was wearing a black GC t-shirt too. He just got back from them, the concert. Uh, okay, how, how would he know to go into the woods and find your exact location? That's kind of creepy. It's kind of weird. He was by, by guys are sexy, duh, and kind of hot. If they're sexy, then they're not kind of hot. Also, how do you know? Did he tell you? How did you ascertain this detail about him? It's a very personal detail. I find maybe, it hard to... Maybe he was looking to score with them that night. I don't Ser know. Have a three Well, six. seriously, like, this dude comes upon them and says, OMG WTF. That does not say to me, hey, I want to tell you intimate details of my personal life and possibly join you in having sex. That says... Oh, holy shit, what the hell are you doing here, you motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> like, really, it, it does not communicate anything but that to me. It's, she, uh, how would she even know this shit? Is she just imagining it? Like the possession? Probably. She's imagined the rest of this story. But I love Edward, too. Uh, who's saying this? <laughs> Is he saying this, or are you saying this? And when did you suddenly fall in love with Jacob? And when did Jacob suddenly fall in love with you guys? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh no, you caught us! I blushed. Wait, you discovered all this by looking at him, but now you're saying he caught you? Guys having sex? <laughs> I blushed. I looked over at Edward, who was crying for some reason. <laughs> I'm sorry, Black. He cried red tears that got all over the place because it was blood. Look, tears get all over the place anyway. It doesn't have to be blood. Not to mention the snot that comes from you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Great, that really helps. Thank you. Thank you for that vivid image. Well, if you're going to be crying that much. I love it. We're having sex and now Edward's getting vampire snot everywhere. <laughs> you were cheating on me, you bastards. <laughs> Black shouted <laughs> and then he turned into a werewolf. Dot, dot, dot. He looked at me and opened his mouth wide, and he tried to bite me! Exclamation point several times. Little X. And I can't work on this Namor Namo for a wheel. 
guys beat mm, work at K out my gothic friends. Get it, lol. No, we'll be have a oh, fiend. What? Maybe she really meant fiends. Oh, fiends. I said friends, didn't I? Maybe that was actually not a typo. I, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I was uh, thinking it was a typo too, but now that I, now that I see that, I think it yeah. wasn't. We'll be happy. Good next chapter is a deal between Inobi <laughs> and Black. When, when did, when did Inobi come, come over here? Are we firing other characters from other stories now? Evidently so. To be continued. <laughs> continued. That, that, that is the most glorious, horrifying misspelling of continued that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Chapter four. <laughs> <laughs> four. The Immortal Princess and Brittany. Part one. Okay, so guys, I wanted to update Sid's Os. You did arc. What the fuck language is this? It's supposed to be okay. <laughs> Loads of exclamation points. B T W O G. Thooks to my new gothic fiend. Lol. Caitlin. I know her num is but she is helping me. Were the plot so? This chapter was her idea, but it. But it's my story of though she helped out a bit. Chapter four. Black roared at me loudly and I screamed. I jumped from the car, naked again. And she she gets naked like she gets naked more than cutie honey. It's like her clothes explode off of her at the slightest. I think I'll go watch that now. BRB guys, we're gonna go watch cutie honey. Okay, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and ripped a branch from the tree, and I poked black w- with it. He started to bleed a lot, and he packed up, which makes me sound. Like, it it, just, it makes me think that he got constipated or something from this. <laughs> poked him with a stick, and he got constipated. <laughs> Sorry, no, Alexa, step it, Alexa. That's not a name. That's not her name. Nope. Edward shouted at me. He was also necked. Well, of course. Why are we always naked together, lol? I don't know because. Because you're having sex, dumbass. Well, I don't know because you never actually describe getting naked. You just always seem to be naked together at the same time. So I don't know either. If you don't know as the author of the story, don't ask the don't ask the readers because we don't know. We have a problem then. Yeah, you have some sort of clothes problem. It's it's something that you should really look into, but don't ask us because we don't know. And he looked angry. Black. We're not sure. Oh wait, we're talking about Edward. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, I'd be I'd be pissed too if somebody poked me with a stick. Yeah, hard enough. And I started make... bleeding. Yeah, hard enough to make me not poop for a day. Uh, Black turned on Edward and bit him. Edward's arm was ripped right from him body and his blood got all over my brand new clothes from Hot Topic because you got them from Hot Topic. And somehow you still have a ton of blood in your body from what happened earlier. Yeah. Fuck you, Black, you bastard. I cried as I sucked Edward's blood for some reason. You know, really here it's Edward who's the dick because if he's going out with Black, he cheated on him and apparently Black was not okay with that. Yeah, they should have probably work this out between them and he would probably know it tasted salty like kfc what <laughs> but it's not like it tasted just like chicken but it's not like i know what kfc tastes like because i'm anorexic no no you're anorexia that's your name doesn't mean you're anorexic but not like a prep there's there's not different kinds of anorexia well, obviously, there's the proper name, Anorexia, which apparently you have for some reason, because God knows why anybody would name their child Anorexia. But you don't get different kinds of Anorexia if you're a prep or if you're a gothic. Because I eat humans. No. No, you don't. That's not what Anorexia means. You don't eat humans. You drink blood. And it's really... Like, if you're a vampire, is that really even Anorexia? I don't think that's really Anorexia. You just drink blood. That's it. You know, that's not anorexia. You're just, you're a hemivore. That's it. I don't even know how a vampire can be anorexic. 
I've never even heard the term uh, humivore until now. I'm gonna have to use that in Cat Dragon <laughs> well, when when Nox is running around uh, drinking blood. Yeah, they they actually handily use that in uh, one of the uh, one of the stories of, of classic Doctor Who called the Coast of Fenric, and they called the vampires humivores. And it was supposed to be like a, a sort of a distinction between you know the vampire and and this this creature. But I was you know I've I've always you know, thought of, I mean, that is the technical classification for someone that subsists off of blood, you know. They're a hemovore, just like I'm a herbivore. <laughs> they subsist off of blood. So, I don't know. But, let's see, where was I? Uh, but not like a prep, because I eat humans, which you don't, but I don't have to until, like, every month. So, you do have to. So, wait, it's like a period? But you just go and eat humans during that time what? I don't know. She says she doesn't have to until like every month. So that would seem to... Which I, I, I'm assuming she's implying because she gets her period and then she has to go refill on blood. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, whatever. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's good. That's good. Edward yelled <laughs> painly because his arm was ripped off. He tried to save me. I blushed. For some reason. Why would you blush? Get, get so, some maybe she she gets turned on by um people missing limbs. <laughs> I forget I forget what that's called exactly, but yeah. Uh, I blushed and looked at Black's eye, Black whose eyes were red. Like, so is he having crack? Is he doing crack? <laughs> maybe he's secretly possessed by that crack evil spirit thing yeah the, i don't know let you oh well let your soul be my sacrifice he said omg that's what edward said when he was high on crack what if the cake the cake what the cake what? turned people into m- murderers but i like crack is that like a com is that's like a portmanteau well, first of all, I'm never eating cake again because I don't want to become some pink-eyed weirdo. <laughs> like, crake is apparently some sort of portmanteau between crack and cake. I guess it's a cake made with crack or something. I mean, I suppose it must make Probably, a good frosting. I mean, you can have the special brownies. That's true. That's true. I don't think that that would excite people, though. I think that would relax them more. Uh, so, uh, so I'm not going to stop snorting it, lol. I didn't know you snorted cake. Apparently. That sounds very unpleasant. <laughs> Extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you imagine crumbs in the back of your nasal passage? Uh, ow. <laughs> I know! That'd probably just make you sneeze constantly, like when you get water up your nose. I don't know. I think it would be more like when you when you accidentally sniff food up your nose. Yeah, you know, like when you get really choked and you, you end up like snorting some some part of what you ate up your your nose and it's horrible like that no you've never had that happen no thank goodness oh god it's horrible absolutely horrible um stop jakey a voice shouted a lot so shouted this frequently several times i suppose <laughs> a girl wearing hot high heel boots with white skulls on the heel a black mini skirt that was really slutty but i wouldn't say it to her face author's note Sir Kate had to say it lol. A small black tank saying, I love golf. Long black Mormon hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> that went past her skinny ass white foundation. Stop saying white foundation. It's clown white. She looks like a mime. <laughs> red lipstick and one of her eyes were red and the other was black. Her name, which we have really never indicated knowing, was Caitlin Amazon Princess Raven Way. And she was a vampire princess and one of my BFFs. Hello, Caitlin Amazon Princess Raven Way. Why would you say her whole name? Uh, maybe it's like a title or something you're required also, to say. Also, if she's a princess, why would princess be her middle name? You kind of do wonder. Maybe it's like Alfred Lord Tennyson or something. Maybe. <laughs> um, Black said, turning back into a gothic human, his clothes were ripped and I thought it was sexy. 
but his eyes were still red, so he was still high on crack, or possibly possessed, we really haven't made this clear. The cake is a lie. It is evil. Do not consume it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> OMFG hi, Edward, I love you! Caitlin shouted loudly, hugging the naked Edward. She made out with him and started to have sex. But what? But I took out my razor and slit her throat. I thought this was your friend, and you knew her, and that was your what? She's a vampire princess. And what happened to your other friend? She's a vampire that princess, too. and you know her. Why would you do this? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid asshole? Don't do that with my brother! I screamed. She died, but then she came back to life. OMG. WTF. Also, what happened about Edward being having his arm ripped off? Maybe they magicked it better by making out and having sex. I guess. My body won't die, as in short for Diana. It won't die! <laughs> she exclaimed malevolently. So she's evil, but she's your best friend, though, even though you just tried to kill her. Yeah, well, the other girl was supposed to be her best friend, but she just asked her what happens and then... What's your face? Yeah, then screamed at her and, and yeah. ran away. Uh, because I'm a princess, my powers bring me back to life. Oh my god, no, no. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. I'm pretty sure that's a that's an Evanescence reference. That... Yes. That's oh god. Which again, I like Evanescence, but... That's a big but too. I didn't mean it that way. I just realized that that's... <laughs> Oh my god, Becky, look at, look her, at butt. her butt. It is so big. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh, three, I killed you. I laughed. <laughs> because you would just say, oh, sorry, I murdered you in cold blood. Hello, everything's okay now, right? <laughs> I laughed. She smiled and told me it was okay. It is not. Someone tries to kill me, I'm going to kick their ass. I don't care if they're my best friend. Yeah, and it doesn't matter why they fucking murdered you in cold blood. They fucking slit your throat. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not the foundation for a healthy friendship. Nothing in these stories is a healthy relationship. <laughs> no, that's very true. Totally disregard my MCR <laughs> reference. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. Oh, it was because uh, she said it was okay, and I'm like, I'm not okay! <laughs> I'm done. Uh, then she took out whips and chains and did BDSM things with Black, while me and Edward drove away. I love that. Why? I love that. She just leaves. Why? She watches, and then she just leaves. I don't understand. <laughs> On the road, we noticed a dead body, so we pulled over. Why? OMFG! I would call the cops! OMFG, I shouted. OMFG, Edward shouted. The dead body got up and pointed at me, and she was an ugly zombie bitch prep. It was Brittany! She was alive! You're not alive if you're a zombie. <laughs> Why was she even in the middle of the road for? When did they take her body from the party? And if she was a zombie, then... Uh, uh. Hospital problems? Yeah, I think they're developing. <laughs> that... That was amazing. Although, note that despite the fact that it advertised um, Inobi versus Jacob, we didn't really get Inobi versus Jacob. No, I'm I'm kind of sad. That is sad. Yeah, I I had the, that, that's why I kept reading. I had the promise of Inobi versus Jacob, but it wasn't really Inobi we got either. The name was different. She was just some vampire princess. We, I mean, she had some things the same. Maybe she was I like. We'll probably never see either of them again. Probably not. Probably not. Although maybe that was Inobi's daughter or something. I mean, she had sex enough times to spawn a huge brood, but of course the thought of her reproducing is horrifying. Well, it's better than more Jennas in the world. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, or Stalfos, as the case may be. 